God. Do you see me? Do you care? Are you even there? My life is a hurricane, a ferocious swirl of cloud, wind, and rain, and there ain't no Superdome like New Orleans had to shield me. Poverty is an understatement, a joke. I've broken Guinness records, won golden medals for the minutes, hours, days, weeks I go without a crumb crossing my cracked lips. And so I'm pretty sure there is no God. Where was he? When the tsunami waves of liquor kept smashing into my father's liver, he could have delivered him from his addictions, but he didn't. And where was he? when the ground split beneath my feet and left me straddling the crack between my mother and father, both tugging me, trying to save me from the other. The Bible says what God has joined together, let no man tear asunder. So why wouldn't you call down from heaven with a voice of thunder and merge the ground again, exerting your force to reverse the divorce? Instead, my family was earthquaked. I changed the noun into a verb because it's almost like someone did this to me on purpose. And God, let's pull back the curtain even more. I remember when I was 14, that man, and I won't say his name, took his tornado and tore up my insides. Yeah, when a natural disaster comes, you must hide too. I wove you in your mother's womb, and since then, I've never left you. Today you are alive because I woke you up this morning with the precious kiss of life. I held my arm out and let you lean on me to rise. I am your faithful compass, who shows you where to find the crumbs you eat. And I give you supernatural strength to sustain you between cuisines. When your father was drinking, I was the shield between you and the fists he concealed behind his back. He chose to drown in the sin of drunkenness. Rejecting the life jacket of Jesus' righteousness, I extended to him. And when your parents kicked their wedding rings in the gutter, I shuddered, knowing how it would break you. And it was my superglue that repaired and remade you, even after the unforgettable the unnameable, doing the unmentionable, and leaving you feeling unlovable and unfixable. Don't think he won't be held accountable, because I'll get him. But in the meantime, I'm just merciful to sinners. And that's why I did what no one you know would ever do for you. I disowned my own son, pushed him out of heaven to be tortured with more pain than you've ever had or can ever imagine. And he too asked me, why have you forsaken me? And my reply was that I haven't. I see you. I deeply care. And I am always, always 